Hi, I'm Dana and I quite often feel like people think that I'm being difficult when I point out ways in which that I need support or ways in which I don't have support or ways in which I'm struggling and they suggest solutions and I'm like, I can't do that. Like, I often think people just feel like I can't be bothered as though I just don't care enough, as though like I'm just trying to whinge. And the fact of the matter is that I feel like there's actually a lot of barriers to accessing any sort of support as an autistic person, be that for mental health reasons or like as an autistic person that needs support. So I wanted to take this video to talk about some of the barriers and some of the reasons that it can be a real struggle or feel completely fucking impossible to access any sort of support sometimes. So first off is the thing that I struggled most with, especially when I first found out I was autistic. And that's just not knowing what's wrong or what will help or what kind of support you need or what you actually need support with. Because as an autistic person, especially a late diagnosed autistic person, I'd spent my entire life just trying to get by, just trying to do what I could, just trying to be a normal person. And for a lot of it, up until I was like really reading into autism and really finding out what it is to be autistic and the like, I was very like... You know, up until then, I didn't know what was normal. I didn't know that the things that I felt and the ways that, like, things happened with me. And, like, you know, I didn't know that I wasn't a completely ordinary neurotypical person. So I couldn't say, like, oh, this is actually something I struggle with. Because, like, I struggled with everything. Everything was really hard. I had no idea which bits were being harder for me than they were for the average person. Like, which bits did I just need to, like, suck up and deal with? And which bits were the things that I could actually help for support with? And even then, it's like, I struggle to actually remember to eat, like, most days. Like, I often only have one big meal at the end of the day when I'm suddenly like, oh, I'm actually really hungry. But I just didn't feel hungry for the rest of the day. So I didn't remember to eat because I'm only prompted to eat when I feel hunger. How, what support do I get with that? Like, somebody coming in to cook my meals is just too much. I don't need that type of support. Someone arriving to remind me to eat, again, too much support. Somebody phoning, I, I don't answer my phone. I really struggle with answering phones, so that's a barrier to the type of support where someone would phone me. If I set an alarm and I'm in the middle of doing something, I will just turn that off and not even remember that I had the alarm go off and turned it off. Like, what, what support do I get for that? How do I help that? <laughs> But even when you have figured out like, oh, this is a thing I could do with some help and support with, for example, like I really struggle with grocery shopping, like buying food. Like I know what I want, but actually going to the shop and dealing with the really bright lights and all the other people and all the sounds and just like everything that's going on as well as having to make my decisions. It's incredibly overwhelming for me. Even when I've figured that out and been like, oh, this is something I could do with support with. Who do you go to? Who do you ask? Because I've repeatedly like reached out for support with this kind of thing and a lot of people like I would get a social worker and I think it varies from place to place like even just within the UK never mind other countries but for me you have to go through the council to get a social worker and they do like a whole assessment and every time they're like oh no you just need community connectors and then I get in touch with community connectors and they're like oh no you just need to go to this place and I just get referred from place to place to place until eventually someone will be like oh yeah we can help you do that thing and I'm like that's not what I was asking for help with. Like, I've just been passed and passed and passed and it's like Chinese whispers and suddenly I'm being offered support for things that I don't need or never asked for support for. Like, f being an autistic person, trying to find out who you go to for support is just, feels like an impenetrable battle sometimes. Because, like, I Google things. I Google things all the time. But, like, if I search off, like, autistic support in my area, nothing comes up and if it does, it's for children. Like, I don't know how people find the things that they find. Like, I'm aware that other autistic people maybe don't struggle with this one as much as I do. Because, like, for example, one of my lovely Patreon members sent me a link to, like, a uh, autistic pride gathering thing that's happening in my city. And it's like, I would have never found that. Like, I'm planning to go and, like, hopefully meet some other autistic people and have a nice time. But, you know, like, I try to engage with, like autistic happenings and whatever and I still would have never ever seen that on my own I had no idea about it and it's happening literally like within walking distance of my home and I'll give that I think this is also where a lot of autistic people still have like their parents or carers or like you know people who are assisting them and supporting them and can help them to reach out to people but I don't have that I have to find everything myself and I can't and one of the really big struggles for me is even if like I'm given a number given an email you know told 
go to this person. I find it extremely difficult to communicate. I quite often will have to explain to them like multiple times like this is the issue before they actually understand what I'm telling them the issue is. And I don't think that's entirely me. I think a lot of the people that work for these types of organisations and systems that are supposed to support autistic people are horrendously badly trained and they don't understand anything about autism and it's their fault, you know? I don't think it's all that I'm not explaining well and it's all my communication issues. But sometimes it very much is because a lot of places will only allow you to phone them. I really, really, really struggle with phones. I hate them. They really make me so incredibly anxious and overwhelmed. I can't hear you. I can't see what's going on. It really bothers me to like speak on the phone. And being an autistic person, I also like semi-regularly and very regularly on phones experience selective mutism. So I will phone somewhere and they'll be like, hi, we're this service. How can we help you? And I can't say anything. I can't speak. I can't get a word out. I'm not making any noise. And eventually they hang up. You know, and there's been a lot of other times that I've been referred to places that say they're going to help me. And I've specified, please email or text. They've given me the option of specification because they understand that this is something that's difficult for autistic people. And then they phone me. I've had so many places tell me, tell me like, oh, we tried to phone our restricted number. And it's like, I'm not, I'm not picking up a restricted number, you idiot. You know, and there's also been plenty of the situations where they're phoning and I've been like, oh God, I knew that this phone call was happening. I'm going to have to deal with this now. I'm going to answer. Sometimes I manage to say hi. Other times I don't manage to say anything at all. And, you know, I'm treated as though I'm being difficult. I'm treated as though like I can't be bothered to pick up the phone or can't be bothered to speak to them. And it's like, my dude, I, I sat there and listened to every word you were saying on the phone while you were saying like, hello, is anybody there? Hello. And I couldn't make a sound come out. And the moment you hung up, I had a massive fucking meltdown. Like, this isn't me trying to be difficult or not wanting help or not wanting the support or not caring. This is me being an autistic person and you're not offering the appropriate support. And it's also, like, considering these are people that are, like, supposedly trained to work with autistic people and, and as much as a neurotypical can, should understand how it is to be autistic. It's, they should understand, they should get what's going on. There's so many places that at least like bear the understanding to offer accommodations and then they either don't accommodate to, to, to actually provide the accommodation or they act as though you're like being difficult and don't really need the accommodation or it turns out that it, it's not actually on offer after all and they just sort of say that it is and I don't understand how they think that like they're helping anyone. I, I can only assume that the people that are actually being helped are the people who aren't having to like deal with it themselves, you know, it's the people that do have a support system, a social worker, a family member, someone who is doing the communication and doing the like, we need support. And that's where we come to my next point, because I feel like sometimes I've really fucked myself over by trying, by having to like be a person, by by not having that support system and not having other people to fall back on to like advocate for me or to like do stuff for me. By like, because I don't have parents, I don't have a family and I, I don't have a partner, you know, like I have to do it all myself. I feel like all too often I'm seen as like, oh well, you're functioning enough then, you're fine. Like you can do this or you can do that. When that's just not how it works being autistic. And it's, it's not how it works for like the majority of mental health things. Like I've had it used against me where like, the fact that I know I need support means that I should be able to support myself or the fact that like it, it's just so easy for them to write it off as though like I'm trying to be lazy or I'm trying to like pull the autism card to just make my life easier than it needs to be and it's like I'm just trying to get to a point where I feel like I'm like not just surviving you know I would like to feel like I'm living a life that isn't just constant anxiety and surviving and dealing with the next bit of shit that's thrown at me. And I can't get that on my own. I keep trying and it's not happening. And it feels like all too often when I've reached out for support and when like I'm finding places that are supposed to offer support and the like, they just see that I'm managing. And because I'm managing, they don't care to help. And it's like, okay, but like this is gonna slip. Like this is a plate on a fucking stick, you know? Like, trying this hard and putting this much effort into every single fucking day is not going to last forever. 
But because I've been able to do it this far, because I've gotten so far, because I can do this and do that, they're just like, well, keep doing that. Just keep pushing on, just keep pushing on. And I assume that that's because that's what neurotypicals can do. I'm going to reach burnout. I'm going to reach a breaking point, probably much, much quicker than most neurotypicals would. And it's not going to be fucking fun for me. And, you know, I, I feel like it should be a human right that you receive support before you have to get to that point. You know, I... I, it, it can feel very entitled to be like, I deserve this support and I shouldn't have to pay for it. But I also think that like everyone who needs support should get support and you shouldn't have to pay for it because I can't fucking pay for it. And I, you know, I didn't... This might be a bit dark, this might be a bit much, and a lot of people might find this controversial, but like, I didn't ask to be fucking born, you know? I didn't ask to be here. I've just been shoved into this and told fucking deal with it. I'm doing my best to, but it's extremely difficult. And I have like added difficulties that most other people don't have and I do think that I deserve a bit of fucking support and help with it especially given that like my entire life has been one traumatic event after another okay so yeah that's me saying my mental health like keeps slipping and I don't know how to access any sort of support and nothing actually really helps and I don't know what the fuck to do and it'd be nice if there was more understanding of the fact that reaching out for support is already difficult enough for most people like anyway in general it's already very very tough and to then do that when you're struggling to communicate when there's like when it feels like barriers have been put in place that other people aren't experiencing or at least you know typical people aren't experiencing you know it just sort of fucking sucks and it gets very frustrating and I feel better about it having made a video like this and I always feel better when you guys like comment and I mean, I don't always feel better when you guys comment because sometimes it's like, oh shit, like everyone's going through this, really? Fuck, it's horrible. But it, it does also make me feel less alone and that is a nice feeling. So yeah, that's that's the video. That's what I had to say. Please do comment down below now that I've said all that. <laughs> if you'd like to see more of my content, a lot of it's quite similar to this. I post on Thursdays and Sundays here. So please do subscribe if you'd like to. I post daily at the minute on TikTok. I don't know how long that's going to last. It's not going to be permanent, but I am currently posting daily on TikTok. And some of them are quite funny. Most of them are autism related or trauma related, so go for that. And you can also find me on Instagram and um, Twitter, which I don't really post on that much either of them. But the fun things is that you can also become a YouTube member or a Patreon subscriber if you'd like to contribute towards me having some degree of money at some point in my life hopefully fingers crossed and you can also donate to me on Kofi if you'd like but you don't have to we're all fucking living in a cost of living crisis and everything like I'm not expecting you to just give me money if you haven't got it but if you have it you want to I, I wouldn't say no you know you know you know so yeah that's the video for so I'm gonna go but thank you for watching please do like and subscribe and follow and all like the promotory stuff i'm trying to have like my whole little like promotion section at the end here like a real youtuber but i still don't fucking like it you would follow me if you wanted to follow me you would but yeah you you get i've, I've said it all before you get it you get it um everything's linked down below whoever you are with <laughs> whoever you are and wherever you are I hope you're having a lovely morning evening day afternoon week month year and i will see you again in a couple of days